Hey, what's up, y'all? It's your guy Dawson from DND TV. Uh, I just wanted to talk real quick about this case of Jenla Watkins in Chicago, uh, the six month old baby who was shot multiple times while her father was changing her diaper. Um, it appears that, you know, the violence within Chicago, specifically in the south side of Chicago, is something that is constantly ongoing. And it seems that during the summer times, uh, crimes occur more in the Chicago. And it just leaves me with a question, you know, basically, what are we doing? What's going to be done about the violence in Chicago? And granted, I know there's violence throughout the United States. I mean, we I live here in Miami, and we have our share of gang violence, you know, crimes and all that kind of stuff, as well as other cities, New York, uh, LA, you know, uh, Dallas and Houston and places like that. But it seems like the emphasis in the media has been on the crime in Chicago because it's just every day it's something. And when you look at this, I mean, we've had all these other shootings, you know, uh, in Newtown and different places that have caught, you know, the media's attention. I don't know if it's because it was in, you know, more suburban areas or what, but the violence in Chicago has been something that's been ongoing for years and it still continues. I mean, just, you know, last month we had the uh, Hydea Pendleton uh, situation, you know, when she was shot. And that made, you know, national news. And now we have this with this little baby. And it's just, it just leads me to wonder what's going to happen, you know, with the violence in Chicago. And I, I know, you know, as I was reading this article and listening to different type of videos, they were talking about people in the community. No one will come forth because people have this... Uh, no snitch campaign, but it's it, it's just so many so many things that just disturb me about this because you know I work with kids and you know kids don't ask to come here you know as adults we bring kids here and it, it's just like if you're living in an environment or in a situation where kids are constantly getting shot every day, I mean this is not like a once a week thing. I mean every day there's something happening in Chicago and no one's doing anything about it. At some point, you know, uh, a couple of years ago, they were talking about bringing in the troops and putting troops on the streets in Chicago. And then, you know, certain law officials were saying that, you know, the troops and the police don't operate under the same guidelines. But to me, the guidelines are to keep the streets safe. And when we have kids dying every day from gunshot wounds, obviously the police are not you know, capable of handling what's going on on the streets. And there are people who even have suggested that the police are somewhere involved into uh, some of the activity as well. I don't know how far that is. I'm not, I'm just saying from things I've read, but all I'm saying is something's gotta be done, you know, with the violence that's going on in Chicago. And, you know, my prayers go out to uh, the parents of that baby. And, you know, the father is in critical condition because he was shot as well. And uh, it's just sad, it's a sad case, but, you know, something has to be done. It's it's just the crime in Chicago is just it's over the top. It's over the top. Not only in Chicago but throughout the United States and something really has to be done about.